now, a Hutch's weather update with meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Monday, Monday. Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. We have some windy weather out there, a little bit of fog as well. Let's get right to the forecast, shall we, as we go through the start of our work week. Here's what you need to know to get you out the door. First and foremost, we have an Alberta clipper that's going to be making its way through our region today. This is a snapshot as we go into the afternoon. Low pressure, that's the center of the Alberta clipper right there, denoted by the L. And the yellow arrow is the movement of this storm. So it's going to move out of the uh, Williston area right through the capital city and then down into northeast South Dakota and notice the snow will take a similar path that track of snow there could be some accumulation but ahead of the storm system and here in eastern North Dakota I expect light winds they'll be from the southeast some areas of fog and frost to start our day on this gray and soupy start to the week uh, the wind shift and the gusty winds will be out to the west where you see these black lines called isobars those close to Together, right over here that's where the wind will be from the northwest and it'll be strongest there now as far as snow possibilities go I'm not expecting a ton of snow out there uh, it will basically knife through the state in a diagonal fashion from around that Crosby area up through the Minot area through Max and Lake Sakakawea down into the uh, southern reaches down here by Cullum in southwestern parts of the Stutzman County area and Dickey and Lamore County might see up to about an inch of snow and will it be super windy with this? No, we won't see much snow at all, by the way, in most of the counties here in eastern North Dakota, with the exception of a quadrant or portion of southeast North Dakota. Here's what you need to know for today in Fargo. Our temperatures will warm out of the 20s and into the mid 30s. It won't be very sunny, but will be above average temperature wise as the morning fog burns off and the frost melts. Now our wind will be south or southeasterly and light in the early part of the day. As the clipper makes its way through, we'll have shifting wind and eventually We'll have more of a northerly component to it or northwesterly in our western counties. And a few of us could see some gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour. All right, here's what you need to know about the week. And I'm going to use my pointer to highlight a few things. Number one, all these high temperatures way above your average of 29. All these low temperatures way above your average of 12. In fact, once we get through our hiccup in Alberta Clipper on Monday, it cools down a bit on Tuesday. And then, goodness gracious, folks, we have a 51-degree Wednesday. Your hump day looks wow. That's all I can say. Breezy and beautiful. Rain in December. Chances of it isolated in places on Thursday, on Friday. Friday, as that system works its way through in the late hours of the day, we could have it mixing with the flake in the wee hours of your Saturday. And that's when things cool off just a bit. So enjoy the mild and, well, hold on for the wild. I'll make sure I keep you up to date with when the weather gets a little wild as we won't keep this mild and quiet pattern the entire time. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Hope you enjoyed this version of Hutch's weather. Have a wonderful start to your week.